Navy Chief Beck for modernization support to protect PH Beck waters, Manila, Philippines Flag Officer in Command Vice Admiral. Robert M. Grant has called for the support on the establishment of a credible and modernized Philippine Navy to secure the entire archipelago. The Philippine Navy, underfunded and one of the most ill equipped in the region, is facing a set of challenges, from budget to security of the country's best waters. We are modernizing left square bracket our right square bracket Navy. If we can gather the entire Filipino people to support the modernization paramapro Pitahan Madinang Territorio, to protect our territory. Remember, we are a maritime nation. We have so many islands, and Thrath told reporters in a press briefing on Wednesday. Tiny Nito Yum support and lay have on the main Filipino. To London Madinang Navy Navy Naamanga, I am asking for the support of our countrymen. Let's support our Navy to expand. Even Lang Major Service Man may pass it too long. Man may also pass the pure Navy Monday. This is a major service that can help to secure our maritime waters, protect our economic activities and secure our country. Pass may calamity and Navy and may cut the Visa Island. Not all islands have airstrip man may cut at land. If there's a calamity, the Navy can get near the islands because not all islands have an airstrip to land on. He added, The Philippines has one of the world's longest coastlines and the third most number of islands in the world. Son Dion, who lands off Arco, we last ships for now. I'm enhanced young, we are enhancing, with a little monitoring station so we can see the ship stop I hyphen deploy and barco, and then we will deploy ships. And Rath said, one of the biggest challenges of the Philippine Navy is the territorial dispute in the South China Sea, which China claims almost entirely. That's why we are calling for the modernization of the Navy so that we no longer allow other countries to take what is ours, the Navy chief said as he recalled China's takeover of Scarborough Shore. As the Navy awaits for the two brand new missile capable frigates slated for delivery starting 2020, it considers a 30. Typhon year old former Korean Navy warship, the newly acquired CRP Conrado Yak, 39, as its most powerful ship. And Thrash said as one of their plans, in order to come up with more funds for the Navy's modernization program, it believes the Navy headquarters in Rosas Boulevard and a portion of the Bonifacio Naval Station in Tapu City. The Philippine Navy is looking to acquire two missile capable frigates, two corvettes, Two Pahang class frigates, two offshore patrol vessels, eight fast attack interdiction craft and two landing docks in the next few years. If we can have that, I think we are credible enough to secure all our territorial waters, and Grant said. Slash AC, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.